Hello and welcome back to another tour of the examples. This one we'll be going over is 003 controller simple pointer. So again, it's built on top of the previous examples where we've got a basic world with the basic camera rigging and we've just got a few objects in here to uh, help with the demo. Um, if we look at the uh, controllers now, they now have not only the controller event script on because we want to capture when uh, something on the controller is pressed, but they also have the simple pointer script on there. So so this will uh, project a beam from the controllers and you can put one on either controller. If it's not on the control, you won't get the beam um, and you can configure them differently. So if we look at these controllers, the, the right hand controller has a beam on which is going to have a, a color that's red. Um, it's going to be that thick. It's going to be that long. We'll show the tip on it, which is a little sphere at the end of it to kind of look, look like a cursor. And we can also determine the facing axis. Now this axis, this is important if this play area is rotated. If it's rotated, the beam will come out the wrong angle. So we need to change that accordingly. And we'll also have the uh, the event script on there just so we can see the events that are being thrown as well uh, for the pointer. Because as a pointer touches something, it will throw an event sign of touch something. As a pointer stops touching something, it will throw an event sign of not touching this anymore. And also when you release a pointer, it will throw an event sign. This was the last point that the pointer was touching. Now we can use that in the next example to show you how to do teleportation with the pointer. So when the pointer points at something, it will set its point of where it's hit. And then when you release, it'll announce uh, to other scripts, this is where the pointer last was. And then a teleport script can pick that up and go, okay, I'll move to that position. So that's as simple as that. So let's start this and get into the game world and we can see what this example looks like. So now we're in the game world. Again, it's the same sort of scene. We're basically just in a big white room. Uh, we've got a couple of objects here. If we hold down the default pointer uh, button, which uh, we def defined in our controller events, which is the grip button, you can see that a beam comes out. We get that little cursor on the end. And on our other one, we get a different one. I think I've got these in the wrong hands. Um, that's the right beam and that's the left one. And then if you point it at an object, you see that it doesn't actually, the beam doesn't actually go through the object. It shrinks to the size of the object. So you, these effectively look like the beams colliding. And as you'll notice in the console, when we let go, we get in all sorts of events. When we hover over and come out of it, we get an event as well. Um, and that is it. That is the, uh, the simple point of script. And this example shows how it's used. If you like this video, please uh, like it, subscribe to me and leave me some comments. And I will be back with another video showing another example and some other scripts of this toolkit. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.